Like other territory bands, Don Albert and his orchestra did all their playing for dancing, and they were prepared to play their music sweet or hot or in between. And they could handle just about any situation that came their way. But a black band traveling through the South in the 1930s never knew what they'd be dealing with until they rolled into town. There used to be dancers in the Carolinas. They call them June Germans. Started late at night and went on till early in the morning. One night we got a booking in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Well, we come into town and instead of trying to get places to stay with colored families, we stayed in the hall to rest. I had a fella in the band. He was always surveying and researching, looking around at everything. Fats Martin was his name. He was a drummer. And that's what he was doing just then. Everybody else, we all sitting out on the porch of the hall, some of them in the bus, relaxing. Fats comes up to me all in a bother. Say, old man, come here. Let me show you what I found. I follow him. We go down into the hall to this big coat closet. We find white robes stacked up to the ceiling. <laughs> and hoods, the cross, this, that, and the other, up to and including the bylaws, rules, and regulations of the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> I say, lad, come on out of there. What you doing looking up in all this junk for? He said, oh man, we gotta get out of here. Let's just get in the bus and forget about playing this dance. I said, no, man, Look, we came here to play this job. Forget about what you've seen. Just play the dance, like always. Except you know how we never take requests? <laughs> this time, we're gonna play whatever the damn well want us to. <laughs> and that's just what we did, all right? <laughs> After that dance was over, we got out of town right quick. That was the fastest that bus ever got packed up. <laughs> <laughs> 